Welcome back. Today kicks off Black History Month here in our nation. And while there are a lot of stories to be told, some often go overlooked, especially those who don't get the national attention. However, that's not the case in Cherokee County. Community leaders have brought back the Black History exhibit for a second year in a row. The Cherokee County Portraits on Change offers a look at what it was like in the area decades ago and how it has shaped the community today. Fox Carolina's Jervis Robertson live with us in studio tonight after experiencing the rich culture Cherokee County has to offer. Yeah, Cody and Tori, the Cherokee County Portraits of Change is back, as you mentioned, for the second year at the Gaffney Welcome Center. Now, it showcases the names that many may not know, and it doubles to keep their history alive today and hopefully inspire more change and diversity out of sight out of mind but that's changing with the black history exhibit in gaffney highlighting historical figures in our own backyard speaks volumes when you have folks that lived in the place you live in have the same blood so to speak that's running through your blood those things are very impactful and inspiring this year's spotlight is on what once was the black business district and tank branch Basically how the black population were able to own property, they were able to own their own land, their own houses. For instances, Dr. Clarence Norris, the first black doctor in the area who owned 65 acres of land where many buildings were constructed. Someone who cared a great deal for Gaffney and advocated for more people of color and positions of authority. Dr. Norris, he is the one that's responsible for the black business district. We had a lot of doctors, we had dentists. That was a place where you traded with people, you came and Glimpse Market was very instrumental in that area. Clarence Glimpse Sr., a name recently brought back into the spotlight as the city works to name a new park after him. A man who had ambitions for political office but was deterred because of local Klansmen. Leaders today understand the task to not let history be forgotten. To like go back and just remember where we came from, not just like all right, you live in a small town and nothing happened here. A lot happened here. Those remembered in the exhibit sparked change. And they also was active, active in that community, making that community better. Such rich history there in a small town. Now, if you would like to check out the Black History exhibit for yourself, you can do so at the Gaffney Visitor Center Monday through Friday, 830 until 5. The exhibit runs February t until February 28th. In studio tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.